today I will be presenting to you my side of being a photographer. I realized that I never talked about it. The reason for that was because I started my YouTube channel in the lockdown and during the lockdown we did not have any gigs and I don't have a job. Pisses me off. Why I'm doing this video is because I have an idea that I want to bring one thing to my videos and in order to explain you I thought that I will give you a backstory of how I ended up being a music photographer because apparently music photographers are pretty cool. Right? Right. Being a music photographer, in my opinion, is the coolest thing. I'm very biased. It might not be for you. For me, I fucking love it. For a long time, I thought that I could live in a cardboard box and be broke if that would mean that I can listen to music and attend gigs. Before that, I was very focused on being rich, basically, and being able to travel the world. That was the only thing that I cared about until I found music. When I was a kid, I used to never listen to cool stuff and my playlist would have had just Rihanna, Pitbull, Kesha and all the pop artists that were back in 2014 probably. I was obsessed with it. But my friend Martina, she used to listen to a lot of Brand Hot Chili Peppers, Gorillaz, The Pish Mode and you know these cool artists and one day I was like you know what I'm gonna be as cool as she is. I started from Black Keys and I remember listening to it and it was like a little bit hot and I was like uh, okay I'm just gonna listen and I'm gonna get used to it. That's how I got hooked up and then I found Nirvana. I remember finding Arctic Monkeys as well. Fuck. AM album is just insane. It's it's beautiful. When I was in the last year of high school, my classmates and I went on a drive and I remember them listening to Beatles Yellow Submarine and that song I knew. The other songs I didn't. I really wanted to be as cool as they were. I can't believe that I was like 17 at that point. Like I wasn't dumb but I was chasing you know other people being trendy or what I perceived to be cool and I was oh I want to become like them. So for the next two weeks after that that ride, I was listening to Beatles, learning the lyrics so I could know it and I could be proud of it, feeling like I'm becoming cool. I'm like, yes, I'm getting that. I'm gonna be cool. I always loved photography and I bought a camera right before I think the last year of high school and my hometown had this event to celebrate the, the hometown birthday and they would get Lithuanian artists to perform and because I was volunteering for that event I kind of had a pass and because I was starting to take images I was like maybe I could take images of the gig you know the gig it, you know guys playing there and I'm just like taking pictures and one guy helped me out to get me into the pit. I was afraid. I was so scared. But I remember one of the biggest like rap bands at that point was playing. I was standing in the pit taking pictures, not even knowing like a song. I didn't know what was the band. There is like crowd, hundreds of people dancing there. That's my first ever gig. I'm standing in a pit and taking pictures having all this freedom to move around, listen to the band without others like, you know, pushing you. And that was the moment when I was like, oh my God, this is like the best feeling ever. Like I've never felt so good. And I got back home and I told my mom, I was like, imagine that, like imagine I could be a music photographer, but mm, these things do not exist. I thought that that wasn't a career choice. I really never thought about it. One of my friends was shooting mix at the pub, but I was like, well, <laughs> not gonna make money out of it you know and yeah and i was like mm, that would be maybe cool and next minute i decided i'm gonna study fashion photography because music photography is not an option in universities fast forward that didn't happen i took a gap year moved down to vilnius and starting shooting local bands and starting to create my own style and build network and just shooting and shooting and shooting while at the same time working in a hospital and whatnot i remember when i I was editing one of my first gigs and you know when you have like the slider and you're just like what if I would do like the very side of this and very side of this and you start sliding a little bit too much and the colors start to look unnatural all of a sudden and I thought you know what 
this is it. This looks so unnatural. Like, if I can make it perfect, why bother? I'm just gonna do the opposite. And that's how I started to develop my style, I think, in photography. The last summer in Lithuania, I worked with a voodoo band. We had a couple of gigs in the other cities, like kind of a tour. We traveled around together. I was going to like festivals and shooting there. That was the time when I shot Ice Age and Preoccupations and Prudus. And it was just a lovely, lovely time. And felt like I am pursuing my dream because at the beginning I didn't even think that I can be a music photographer. Yeah, that summer I already knew that I'm gonna move down to Australia because I want to continue and I want to get more music, I want to emerge myself into a little bit different culture where, you know, Melbourne is the city where music is... I feel like music is the main thing here. Like, it's so massive, the industry here. It's insane and it's so beautiful and I absolutely love it. I had these, like, thoughts of what should I do after the lockdown because you know when you lose a job and that was all that you were doing past three years and all of a sudden you can't take images anymore because there is no gigs happening and no band needs a promo shoot and you're like what I hate photography I don't think it's working I'm a shit photographer I don't know I felt like a piece of shit I was like I hate it I don't want to do it and luckily I had enough time to think about it so I'm gonna be back. I miss photography dearly and I miss shooting gigs. It's just that I want to switch things up a little bit, how I used to work and I think I want to change my style a little bit but I don't want to talk about it now because it's another video I reckon. The thing is that I never thought that I'm good enough in having an opinion about albums and music. I definitely listen to a lot of music, but it's usually if it, friends would send me an album or an artist, I would check them out. But I never really tried to look it up myself because I was so used to going to gigs and finding bands through live performances that I never bothered looking up things. And I don't think I'm someone who like follows the friends and be like, oh my God, this person released like new album I want to listen. I enjoy listening to the same music most of the time. But sometimes you get into the rut of listening to the same playlist over and over again and you know when you're like, how do I find this new music? Where where does it come from? How do I listen to different stuff? So I thought that I can let myself listen to two albums a week, but like full on, not just like I'm waking and listening to album. I just literally put on headphones for the best quality. I don't know, dance or lay in bed, whatever but I concentrate on the album as much as I can and pretend to be at the gig. On my new videos, I want to review slash react to the album and share my opinion. And I want to do that honestly because I don't like every album. No one does. And, you know, it can be a great album. It can be everyone's new favorite thing. And I might not like it. And I want to be honest about that and just not try to fit in as I used to before. Because these cool people like that album, I must like it too if I want to be cool. No. So at the end of the video, I will share two albums that I'm planning to listen throughout the week up until the next video. And on the next video at the beginning, I'm gonna review them from my personal opinion. I'm not professional. Please don't judge me. It's just my liking or not liking. I'll talk about them. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give another two albums that I'm gonna listen so you can listen together with me and share your thoughts on the albums but the videos won't be all connected to music i'm gonna do the stuff that i want to do somehow think that it's a great idea i as well want to listen to more new artists because you know like i'm working in the industry where i need to know what's happening or so i believe i was listening to i'm doing it by east album for the first time that's when i the idea to make this video and that feature on my videos came to me i didn't like it at the first time i don't know why i feel like it was too poppy and a little bit too not like poppy poppy but too emotional but i loved song talk deep 
and I love that upbeat rhythm. Why it's important to listen to albums? Because you take one song out of the album and it's cool, it's sick, but the album tells a story. And listening to all of his songs one after another, listening to lyrics, you get an understanding of what about the album it is. I find that very interesting and I might not like any of the songs, you know, I might not put them on my playlist to listen on repeat, but I might like the album as a concept and as a story. And that's what I liked about it. So the second song, Flight Path, I love the... And here where we struggle with theory and terms. I think it might be called Harmonies, where it, it sounds like a choir in the song. And I loved it because it reminds me of Lithuanian music. It reminds me of like old school kind of Lithuanian traditional music, if that's the right way to say. I think it's worth the listen. Another note about East, I'm doing it. It was super dramatic, but very well made. That's why maybe I didn't like it, because it's very a beat and very yeah very emotional maybe it's a little bit too much meanwhile I, all the time i play aurora she is absolutely my favorite artist hands down right hands down oh <gasps> what album should we listen next i have i started a list so next week we're gonna talk about king crimson in the Court of Crimson King. I never listened to that album. I'm curious because my housemate talked about it and I've heard good words about it. I also want to sit down and listen to Gus Dapperton Orca, his new album, because I'm obsessed with Gus. Gus, sorry. Gus. I'm obsessed with Gus. I love his tenses and I tried listening to Orca a couple of times and it didn't work, so I need to sit down put on my headphones and feel like at the gig and we're gonna do just that so King Crimson in the court of the Crimson King and Gus Tapiton Tapiton uh, or um, if you have any questions about my music photography career please let me know in the comments keen to see you next week well fam fancy very wet hand Yes. Um, so 